Who did that be? Who did that be? Mm. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Huh? <laughs> yeah. What the? It's like a mouthful. <laughs> oh my god! It was a mouthful. Damn, he's that famous that it made you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I just said Jay Sam. He said, oh! <laughs> <laughs> but welcome, folks, to another episode of XY 101. As you can hear, things do not change. Uh, I'm your host, Will D, and with us today we have... Diablo! Okay. Lydia Renee. And on sound... <laughs> he's the Diablo, I'm the... Hey, ah. Drew. Hey, uh, like it that, right? Wait, that one you get, Mr. Polo. I know, right? <laughs> Mr. Polo. <laughs> you want to know how I know I'm here? I, I know how I'm here. I have a reason why I know I'm here. Of course. Uh-oh. Where you live at, there's a bunch of them. Mira, I'm here. Don't, where you going? <laughs> you growling like a dog. Yeah, babaloo, babaloo, bamboo. Tootie, fruity. All right, so here are some questions. From people about relationships and dating, I guess. Ooh. All right. So first is, what personality traits do you find unattractive in a partner that you can get past for a fling or a friends with benefit? Hmm. One more time. So what personality traits essentially keep you from dating someone that, like, you kind of, like, whatever, if it's just going to be a fling or, like, a friend that you, you fuck around with from time to time? <laughs> she shut I would the say fuck like up. clutter. Clutter? Mm. Clutter? Yeah, you know, I'll give you that. Like, you don't want to date somebody dirty, but if you like, really want to no, fuck no, no, on a constant crazy. basis, it'll drive my my mind fucking crazy. Like, I can't deal with it. Like, oh, you just need to clean. You need I not like sterile, you know. But I just I can't have shit like oh, all over the fuck. floor everywhere. Like, I can't walk into the room. Clean the house like, up, nigga. Like, where am I supposed to lay and sit and stand? Mm. Clean this shit up. <laughs> you look real serious with that. Clean that shit up. <laughs> I had to trigger the memory. Oh. Clean this fucking shit up. I can, t- I can tell you. Clean that shit up. Shit. <laughs> Flashbacks. Uh, you shut the fuck up. Mm. There's some people that just talk too fucking much. And I already talk a lot of my goddamn self. I don't need you trying to keep up with what the fuck I got rocking. I'm going to need you to shut the fuck up. So... I'm but out. if we just fucking, it's like, all right. This is just for the night. This is for the night. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> just, like, just move the clothes to the side, right? <laughs> yeah. I knew All you got to do is make sure that person feels it enough where they exactly. don't want to talk that's, about that's, nothing. That's, yeah. Exactly. I'm like, bitch, shut the fuck up. You ain't thinking about moving those lips for mm-hmm. one reason. And I'm not saying <laughs> after I get my nut, I'm out. I'm not well, saying hit they, it. I don't mind if they're moving the lips. <laughs> yeah. Thing, you know what I'm saying? But what, but, well, what will happen, though, if you're doing it and then the freaking clothes start moving? Oh, what the hell's going on over here? I'm out. That's a puppy. That, yeah, okay, that's a big puppy. We're in New York. We know what puppy that is. That better be another, <laughs> that better be another bitch. <laughs> Let no nigga pop up out here. Right. Word, right? <laughs> he be like, yo, you almost done? You almost done? <laughs> you ever see that video of like the guy who brings the girl to her crib and then like all the dudes that like went to run and hide just like pop up out the closet and major pops up from under the bed and all that shit? Oh, damn. Yeah, it's, this shit was funny. Like a little circus act. <laughs> do, do, like, do, 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 he walks do, in and she, like, told him all to run away. And walks in and she's like, oh, girl, how you doing? This like, he didn't know she was cheating on him. But it has, like, eight niggas in the crib. Oh, and my a, God. And then a midget in the bed already. Like the dwarfs. Yeah. Snow White. It, it was funny. <laughs> but Yo, coochie uh, hole. I, you know, I'm going to say I'm going to go with the over charity person. Because I don't like people who talk too much. But, yeah, if it's just for the night, you know, I'm going to let you talk yourself. To you know, me screwing you. You see that? That's fine. Thing about it is, I'll get. I I think I might have to retract that because I get annoyed. I end up telling you shut the fuck up. up. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. Like, like, nah, that's that's if you're talking too much during. Right. Nah, like even nah, before. Even because it depends on some. They always gotta say something that just turns you to fuck off, or just like just takes a turn. It's like, why would you just go ahead and say that? Just be quiet. You can be like about to get into the mood, right. and they be like, "Yo, I gotta pop some pills next week." Uh, yeah, some crazy, some, yeah, weird, yeah, random yeah. shit that ain't. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> bitch, it ain't mine. Leave. <laughs> that kind of spoiled the moment. <laughs> Wait a minute, before we do this, I'm pre- <sighs> Or I have a whole bunch of diseases that that'll that'll definitely fuck up the mood. That actually happened to me. Like just before you. Huh? Yeah. Ooh. 
What they? How they tell you that? Did they, did they tell you like? like I mean, hey. at least they told you. No, we were like making out. Oh, well, yeah. At least they told you. It's a female. At least she told you. Yeah, you're right. I you know appreciated that. that. Cause I mean, it, they, they just did an episode of that on um, Grownish, right? I just saw that on Grownish recently. She had so many infections, dude. I was like, Do you mind me asking like how many? Just a lot, like a handful. <laughs> handful, jeez. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See what I mean? That like, what way. would you do with? I mean, yeah. I oh, like, it doesn't then hit you with the "Are you okay with it?" After, uh, after you even had this yeah, you know, that, I'm okay because you told me. <laughs> That's like the stupidest thing people always do. Like they tell you something that you know it's not okay, <laughs> but are you okay with this? Like, it, I can understand if you want to leave. Yeah, yeah like the little guilt trip. Mad about it. Try to fill your ass out. See what, how, how comfortable you get oh with it. God. I'm out. <laughs> All right. I got AIDS. Now, have you ever? <laughs> wow, that that that, that was you deep. You have AIDS? No. <laughs> <laughs> People get offended from that tune. That shit. You guys funny. know what I'm talking about. Yeah. That, that shit HIV, so but full of bone AIDS. <laughs> that shit was hilarious, though. It uh, still know, is. They don't really play that. Not even on TV. Because it's not anymore. acceptable, man. But it was. It, it, see, that's the problem. South Park already said it was okay. It's been 33 and a half years. <laughs> right, right. All right? So that means it's finally funny. <laughs> but, you know, these freaking woke ass kids be ruining everything good. AIDS are never funny, bro. You know, things are complicated for kids nowadays. Like, that whole gender assignment stuff. Like, that's no, too much no, to no, be no, worrying no, no, about. No. These things. Are not complicated. <laughs> they make it. You feel yeah, like you're exactly. Yeah, exactly. Sex or something like that, and then like then you get kicked out of that school or like what the? It, I don't know, dude. So I would never want to deal with none of that on top of whatever I was dealing with. But you see, so here's the thing. <laughs> I feel like if you're if you're I wouldn't want my child to deal with that either. But. If you're under the age of eighteen, right? Science has even told you you're stupid, right? Like, you're straight playing. off the rip. Like, you are not of any sound of mind, body, judgment to, to do anything of your own, right? And, I mean, they say even up to 25 is questionable. Mm. Between 18 and 25, yeah. you're kind of sort of there. But, like, your brain is still developing. Like, you are just, uh, for, according to science, you are, like, still as dumb as the baby that okay. just came out the womb, right? Like, you just, you no know, self-control, no this, whatever. You're still heavily influenced by your environment. So if you're someone who grows up in an environment where, like, all these possibilities are a thing, you really aren't of self-awareness enough to determine that you are of queer, this, or to a lot, like, based on science. Like, your, main, your mind isn't necessarily there yet. So for you to tell me that you're this, 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 and this, and blah, 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 and I got to use these, shut the fuck up, kid. Like, you... You, you're gonna you're gonna find out like five years down the line that perhaps you weren't like you know what I'm saying like the there there are a number of people who as full grown adults yeah. have gone into thinking like maybe this explains why I've been feeling what I'm feeling they go through the whole thing and afterwards regret it right and these are full grown fully mentally developed adults no kid in the world is gonna tell me Z Zem she he nope. they this. I wouldn't not the people, option you know you know because like, then I would just get my mind spinning well. No, but it's proven fact. Look at Bruce. After he did everything, they talking about. I don't think I, I'm hey, a, a he woman. I ain't seen him in a long time. Because ever since he, he said, people. yeah, ever since he said that, oh, he don't want to be a, a woman now. But he won Woman of the Year already. That? Yeah, after he won Woman of the Year and everything, he said, oh, I don't feel like I'm really a woman. I don't know how you ever won Woman of the Year with a penis. And yeah. I don't mean like formally he having. Penis. And and he, then he's always been a shim. Once he, once he did the transition, and he, he never came, he never cut that off. Wait, what? What the fuck is a shim? I never chick oh, with dick. So I know. It, I mean, I got yeah. it. I they just not when you said it, but I never. But heard he, he he was he was only he was only playing a woman for a couple of weeks. How you a woman of the year? You didn't even do a whole year yet. How you a woman of the year? He was sick of it, huh? <laughs> I'm right. telling you, that if that's not a smack. No, no, no. If that's I'm not a smack to real woman. That a Kardashian would let him out the relationship is if he went full blown with the one scandal he had while he was famous, and that was for cross dressing. 
Yep, that's so probably it. Take it to a whole other level for them to get him out that family without them trying to like burn his soul and end up like Lamar Odom. That's what the fuck he did. He said, "I'll get fake tits or, 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 or to or live." What's his name, Kardashian? Bitch, I'm not fucking you no more. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to get me some fake titties. Yeah, right. <laughs> like that's the only way out. He still didn't cut, take the penis off though, because no, he wasn't that dumb. He wasn't that mentally unstable. He was. I mean, he was stable on mentally too, but I cutting your once well, you go to cutting your the transition yeah, yeah, process. True. You know what I'm saying? Really hard, especially for women to go um, to become men because of the hormone therapy part of it, and a lot of people don't qualify because of a whole bunch of health different reasons yeah. to actually do it. So it mm. sucks if if you're someone who really like you wanted it, yeah. and you. I mean, there there are some people that you know, like assuredly. They mentally are ready to do all that, right? Right. It's not a Full fad. Monty. It's not a phase. You know, it's a sort of, and a lot of those people can't do it because they medically will not be able to survive the procedure. Yeah. Or the the, the, the process, sense. and it's a whole two year process from the moment you try and change your name. And then the to be able to that. to utilize those organs afterward, right? I just think it's a lifelong process after that, and by that time, you you're what 50, 60 years old. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know. Um, it just seems really risky. Yeah, and then with the whole the whole kid stuff too, because back in the days when a kid was like, "Oh, I feel like a woman," they used to give them therapy first to see if that's really what you it's want. They waited till you're like sixteen or seventeen, and then say, "Is this what you really want?" These people were talking about two years old. He know he a female now I, and want to change him to a female. And, and don't good for don't a child. don't get me wrong. Like there are some people you know, like from the time that they can talk. They're queer. Like, my boy Hashim, <laughs> right. yeah. they've known since he was yeah. five. Like, yeah. he was he was the last motherfucker that's to true. know. That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. But that's not most kids. And I and every every parent talks about the stage where their son may want to walk in mommy's heels because he wants to be like that's mommy for, for the day, right? That's different. You know, like, he wants to be like the adult that he loves, not because he wants he to be a woman. He doesn't want to take off his penis like, when you want to start right. changing right. his genitals and forgetting what's Girl down there. Girl wants to work with a car doesn't mean that she necessarily wants to grow a dick. Like, right. She just right. used to her dad. trying to mimic what they see adults that they like right, do. Right, right, right. And it's not I want to be like that. Right. It doesn't yeah. necessarily have to be with the sex. Yeah. It's just I want to be that, tr- and that I, strength. I feel of, like of an adult. parents more and more these days want their kid to be so special for whatever reason or next that they see things in their children where they put ideas in their head yeah. rather than actually have that kid naturally. Like, you know, that nature versus nurture conversation right. is like Just what a- age does it really start? And it starts from the moment that they're in the womb, in the womb. right? They're affected in by music that gets womb. played and stuff like in that. Ah, uh, yep. The once trauma, they develop all of that, once they develop organs, is when that whole shit starts. So, when you start influencing these ideas, right? Yeah. The kid starts to perceive that's how they should be. I think so. And I, so let's not like we should let children have their youth, and let's not put gender. And sex, because I'm not saying that that's not going to be them when they hit puberty, when they reach adulthood, and if that's them, then cool. Yeah. Should we be open to the idea that maybe the child approaches you with like I'm questioning X, Y, and Z? Yeah, let yeah, them do that. Like if a 13, 14 year old kid comes to you saying, "Hey, I'm having these thoughts and feelings," right, don't right. cut them off. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah. But I'm saying when they're five, six, seven. Don't Please promote let it. Them be kids. Yeah. Don't tell them this let is. Them, a- I think so too. Like you put it, you're interjecting more ideas and theories into their head that they didn't even think of. Like now, it's just like what? What mm-hmm. gender do I? Go I, I call I call it the island effect. And the reason why I say it, if you have a one island, and let's say you take a bunch of little kids that just started, one two years old, you teach them a language, blah 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 blah, blah, blah whatever. They're gonna learn that language, mm-hmm. and if you tell them you. Sub- same thing with, with back in the 60s when the so-called guy was a god. You wasn't allowed to have sex with your husband, but you're allowed to have sex with me. Everybody, all the young ones, thought it was something that. real. That was, no, no, one of those um, um, cults. One the cults. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. He, he, he I said, said. I missed that book of the Bible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who the fuck said that? And then all the little kids that were there seen only that. Yeah. So they thought that only. So that's why I said there's an island effect. If you teach them something, they're going to assume that that's the way it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Why do you think they'd be like, oh, that kid is your kid. He acts just like you. Mm-hmm. He wasn't born acting like me. He started looking at me and mimicking what I do. Mm-hmm. So that's why they'd be like, yo, don't talk like that in front of the kids because they're going to mimic. Yeah. Yeah. So, they do, they do what they so what's the problem now? Like All of a sudden, that science just went out the window? Well, we live, we live in a generation where feelings and emotions hold more weight than facts and science. Yeah. Like, I, just just alone, right? 
the, my favorite thing, and this has been an argument for years since before we even get to this generation, when a guy goes, well, you know, science says I'm supposed to sleep around, right? Oh, don't throw that science shit. But literally, that's the biology of our species. Sorry. Like, that's a fact. Yep. Now, does that mean that we shouldn't be held accountable if we decide to be not? That's not what that means. But it literally is a scientific justification for why we are wired to, like, fight that impulse. Okay. You get know what I'm saying? We can't just go off of what society says. Societal structures differ for a reason. That's a cultural thing. Yep. Science, biology, chemistry applies to all humans regardless of if we consider races differently. If you are fallen to the human race, it's just a fucking fact. Yeah. So just live with it, right? Like, accept that. Now, you don't want to agree with it. That's your own stupidity. That's like you being a flat earther to me. But when science tells you X, <laughs> Y, and Z, like, it is what it is. Oh, if they're telling you X, you Y, 101? No. <laughs> <laughs> if they're telling know. you X, Y, 101, it's X, Y, 101. That's it. That's right. all to it. You just don't fucking... I, yeah, fucking, I'm traumatized by the <laughs> Knows too many personally. Yeah. One is too many, by the way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, two is way too fucking many. All right. Well, back to the original conversation. Here's <laughs> another one. Uh, have you turned a friend with benefit or a fuck buddy into a partner? And then why did that transition happen? Hell no. Nope. They st- well, at that time I was dating, so they all stood, so you know, over there, weekends. I don't remember. Like, I don't. I think I've had a fuck buddy and that I turned into a friend. Okay, that's different. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. to turn to turn like a rebound or like a like a friend into a fuck buddy, I mean a friend into a relationship. I would I, I would hope I would still be with that person, but I don't mm. know. Mm. Well, I've, I've that's a lot to lose. It is, but like I've had. I've had a friend with benefits, and we tried dating, and it didn't work out. And so we just went back to being friends, kind of a thing. Um, but it's one of those things where you're pretty much spending all this time with this one individual anyway, right? It gets to the point where, like, if I'm not... The whole reason you started off is, like, I don't have a lot of time. I have a friend. They're horny. I'm horny. Like, whenever we can link up, let's just get that out of the way kind of thing. Yeah. But it's with a friend, right? So then, you know, there's already that kind of, like, friendship bond. You're like, well, if we're fucking anyway, whatever, why don't we try it? Like, that's why that happened. Yeah. But, it, you know, trying to force yourself to be with someone just because you kind of like each other and or, the sex is good, you know. Be, you don't want to be alone. Right. Like, mm-hmm. that That never really turns out well. Because you're drawing the wrong you, the wrong vibration, the right. wrong um, energy. Fillers get involved. Right. Yeah. You Fillers attract the wrong there. type of company. You know, the way you move is is now funny to them, even though that's how you always move. Oh, but, like, you know, that I don't kind of, like the way you chew. Yeah, yeah, right. you know, like, you're breathing you're heavy. <laughs> you're breathing too heavy. Move out the way. I'm going to have to deal with this for the rest of my life type shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, you know, th- that's, that's the type of shit where, like, yeah, it, it can be complicated. You would hope. You would hope that it works out. Oh. There are tons of really, like, I know, there, I know a guy who I used to work with. I mentioned it before. Like, he started off on a fuck only site met up with a chick that turned to a fling and that she became his wife type yeah shit. they like, liked what they liked that, and, that, and they accepted one another it, it was one of those like they were fucking around and accidentally ended up having a conversation after you know like and was like oh you're not that bad yeah they like you know were, yeah that was meant to be i, I guess it, it did work because they didn't have the uh the aspect of i'm Dating this girl to find a love. Right, they just right. wanted to go and do this. Right. And, it ha- and it works. I swear, I just use it as proof. You should just fuck on a first date, find out if it's worth it, and then go have a meal after. <laughs> hey, it's called an investment, right? Got them right. right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Just get the, get the awkward part if out of the way. If only arranged marriages work that way. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. they kind of do, because the first time you meet them, you fuck them. You em. don't. Well, yeah, you do. Yeah, and a lot of them, because you don't always if meet it was them. arranged for, like, Years, yeah, and years yeah, since yeah. you were little. Sometimes yeah. you'd be like, you don't know them, you don't grow up with them. You just like, hey, it's your husband. You got those end up being the longest day. fucking marriages, dude. Because you know it's business <laughs> in the first place. Yeah, it's, it's business. It's strictly like it's death to his part. I know you a do lot this, of this. I'll do that. I know a lot of Indian couples where that was the situation. Like they were arranged, and it works. And they're still married today. They're like, you know, it took a while to get used to, but since I knew it's I was supposed to, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's because when you think arrangement, you think of, of, of it being equal. Or, hey, I have my duties, you have your duties, and that's it, you know? But that's the other thing. That's, that's in a relationship where, especially in a culture, where gender roles are, are there, right? Right. So 
you're doing this because it works out for all the people you care about, more so than even yourself. Mm. You know what you're supposed to do. You have these given tasks, and you accomplish it. It sounds like you're a fucking soldier to me, mm. right? And then you just somehow find a way to actually care for the person you're working for. So, you know, a soldier. <laughs> like, <laughs> Pretty much. Right? Like, you know... Yeah. And under the day, you may hate the person you're working with all the time, but then when you have to get onto that field, you find a way to make it work, and now you're trying to make sure you all get back home type shit, right? Absolutely. That, the arranged marriage is just being a fucking soldier, except you're not on the battlefield of war, just of life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah surviving. Mm-hmm. For sure. Now, do you think your parents or grandparents <laughs> influence what you look for in a partner, um, or like how you think you need to act to be a good partner? I think for women, it's definitely something, like, it's it's paramount, um, depending on, you know, if you have a, a str- it could be a male or female strong figure in your life that, that, that guides you, parent, guardian, um, who, who lets you know the type of person that you should be and the type of person um, who should be respecting you and, 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 and so forth. Um, because the last thing you want is for your daughter to be with some scumbag that beats Ooh. her, treats her, Facts. you yeah. know what Ooh. I mean? That sounds like a dead man to me. I, I, know I'm I, I think uh, single and uh, both parents, you still learn from, from yeah, them. It doesn't matter who it is. Oh, I yeah. think it, yeah. if it, you know, you it, learn it the good be, and the bad. Yeah. So. They, do what, they do what they can, but you know what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but I think overall, grandparents, <laughs> real grandparents from from uh, not the, the new grandparents that so are like thirty bad years old. Who don't have grandparents? Man. Yeah, like thirty year old grandparents. I'm talking about the real grandparents the real that are still together. Teach you about you know don't do that. Pull your pants up. You yeah, know, those. those with enough actual life experience to yeah. teach you a goddamn thing. Yeah. You actually learn, especially. I, I guess the grandparents now were the last generations to last long. Like, right now, if you last with someone five years, they, wow. Like, yeah. that's a big thing. But dumb, they'll be like, oh, five years? Baby, you're just right. a little child. Right. Wait till you get like us. We like 45 uh, years my, together. My, my parents been together 46 years. See that? Office, Look at that. Right? Like, so you have a great example of monogamy. <laughs> well. Well, I can't say that because the grass is always greener, right? I mean, mm. it, let's, let's just say I have they a great example work. of people willing to make it work. Make work. it work. You know and that's saying? what it's all about. Yeah. You know, like, I, I can, I'm, my, my parents are a very unique situation where they definitely love each other, but they're both very stubborn individuals, you know what I'm saying? So, like, they'll never truly see the other person's point of view, mm. and they they're don't, ta- they, their, their type of talk gets into fighting, like, not physical fights, but, like, yelling mm, matches, right. right? And then... Eventually, now as they've gotten older, instead of just yelling about it, they're just both like <laughs> silently huffing yeah. and puffing. You know, like that, that's all that's changed. No energy for that. And right. Even, so the, even when she gives the plate of food, ah, here. Like, like when I was, no, no, like when I was younger, it would be like, you know, they would sneak off to the bathroom, smoke their cigarettes, and yell at each other, right? <laughs> Boom. As I've gotten older, it's turned into. Now mom will order takeout and then not order a plate for dad. Like he can figure out his own fucking food type shit, right? So passive aggressive. And oh. then he should have known I was gonna order. Right. And me- meanwhile, my dad is also the type who grew up like dirt poor. So he'll just come home and be like, "No food? Okay, get a sandwich, put some maple syrup on it, eat it, and go the fuck to bed." Now, right, right. Know, like just throw back. Like, like, so it doesn't really work. And then you just see her grunting as he's eating, like, like, damn, he should be pissed Thought off right now. And he's just him. like, ooh, this is a good snack. Like, you know, it's just like, shit. But, <laughs> oh, mine. But really the good thing about it, they understand right. each other. Compromise. Yeah, they understand each other. It's like uh, that show um, in Living Color when the two used to fight. Oh, yeah. And we're still together. Okay. <laughs> together. <laughs> you know, they don't matter. It's, it's the compromise, you know. So if you can pass a certain, especially now, if you can pass the five-year, six-year stretch, what I call the stretch, oh, the seven you're pretty, year itch. yeah, you're pretty much good, you know. <laughs> but then, of course, the seven years is like, damn, you gonna be here for that long, longer, you know? I got seventeen then, goddamn it. Uh, hey, I got good. fourteen. Uh huh. Fourteen. Yeah. Well, ten together now, but if you add the four when we first started, yeah, you count that. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> and it's all about compromise, and it you know. Is. Uh, understanding what? because you got to understand each other. 
She understands I don't speak my, my, my problems too much. Like, like, so, so there's a difference from when you're in the 17 or in the 14. Right. And then when you think about being there, that oh. shit's scary. True. When you think about True. being there, it's a complete, I, di- completely different idea. Right. Yeah. Especially with, with the first here, argument. Like, it's yeah, more of a fantasy that, right? when yeah, you right, think exactly. about being there versus when you're actually in it. Like, I ever really sign up for this shit? We're like, damn. Damn, that does Can sound I like really being in the this? cemetery. <laughs> I'm going to argue like this for the next <laughs> year. Like, when you're 10 years there, and be like, I did all that shit. But when you start off like, maybe I can do 20. And you're like, then you realize, you're like, oh, maybe shit. Maybe I could change this. Like, no, maybe. like, uh, uh, there was a post where the guy said, Oh, I married you because your dad um, was going to kill me if I don't. But then I realized if I would have been in jail, I would have been out by now. <laughs> Yo. Oh, Yo. I was dying. Uh. <laughs> He's like, I could have just gone to jail, you know? <laughs> His booty hole thanks him. Yeah. Like, that, that's, that's sad when you were like, damn, I could have done a 20-year bid, and I would have been out by now. <laughs> yep. oh, wow. Or he would have just walked out with a prison wife instead, you know. Yeah, either way. I welcome home, Rodney. All right. Um, now, here's, here's another one. Do you think that your friends are a good resource to fix relationship issues? And then if so, which friends? If you're telling your friends everything that's going on in a relationship, people don't know on the outside. No one on the outside knows what's going on on the inside. I don't mm-hmm. care what the relationship, how long it is. You have to be in it. <clears throat> so unless they know every little thing that you've done and your partner has done or said, they can't really tell you how to live that relationship. Agreed. Yeah. Come on, come on. You have to be in that. You don't see what goes on when they wake up in the morning or, you know, it's time to go to bed. That person says something sly. Or, right. You know what I mean? Like, well, I'm just going to not going to do this. Like you said, just, I'm not going to make him a plate. <laughs> You know, stupid shit. Nobody knows those little things that go on. I'll tell somebody something that knows me. Mm. Somebody close enough to me but that that knows me to tell me what I've done. in Because nine times out of ten, it's me that's fucked up. You know this. Well, and that, that's that's so true. I, I have somebody. I got, like, somebody that can mm-hmm. check me for it. Um, some, someone, and I don't mean it's like there's one person. It's, right. a, few, it's a few people that are like, hey, yo, nigga. Because, like... I do have that. I do have because before I know, like a few years ago, we asked a question similar, and I was like, "You don't want nobody getting involved in shit." Mm. But it's like, yo, your your people know you, mm-hmm. and they know how you are. They can kind of give you a a guy to hey, maybe you bust up by doing this, or maybe you said, you know, That's so true. you can still take advice from people. Select out. people. Yeah, select yeah. people. Yeah. Which that 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 brings up a good point too. That to do that. Versus me telling someone that don't really know me and automatically going to agree with me. Right. You know? Yeah. I don't, I don't want, want that. that. I want someone that's going to tell me, now, nah, Charles, you were wrong in this right. situation. You should have told her this and this and that. Right. Because they know what's going on. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Versus, that's like if I tell uh, Will, hey, I did something Rhea. He know both of us. He know how we act. He going to be like, yeah, Charles, you were wrong. You know what I mean? And what I got to do, I got to take it because he knows me. Mm-hmm. He knows us. He's in our, you know, family type of thing. But versus me going and telling the neighbor who don't know Jack. Right. So that is a good um, point of view to have, you know, to talk I, to someone. I would say it's good to go to, A, someone else involved in a relationship. I feel like people who are single don't always have the best perspective. Because, one, either they've been in nothing but really, like, <laughs> surface-level relationships. Yeah. Or, two, they may still be bitter from a long-term one, right? So it's better to go to a friend who might be <laughs> in an actively happy or relatively successful relationship. But two, I think that's another good point. It has to be somebody who knows you, and I think it's even better if they know you and your partner. Like, if there's that standard couple that you guys constantly, like, double date with or stuff like that, like, that might yeah, be that a good be resource. Yeah. Um, also, because if you guys are also hanging out like that, I'm sure between the, the two couples, there's a lot in common as far as ideology, mm. where, like, if you and, you and your partner are seeing red, the two people who are like clear minded can be like, well, we think very similarly, but this is where the two of y'all are butting heads on, and yeah. like put them in perspective. So that way, either somebody's wrong, right, or like how to meet in the middle, it can be reached that way. So I, I, I mean, that's my personal take on it. But, yeah. um, who do you normally seek advice from in general when like you're having issues, <laughs> like whether it be with your, with your partner or with someone you're talking to, or like who do you? Bingo. 
Seek advice. All names out. Heck. Um, Buggy. Wait, my whole, my whole, I seek out my info from them and you guys. Relationship <laughs> wise or just, no, just in general? Or just in general. Like, who do you go to seek out when you, when you want, oh, like. It, it's not even that. You, I could. Oh, it's not even that. Usually people tell me shit. Right. Like, yo, you'll see something, like, and they'll give me advice on it. Not, I'll go seek it. Like, mm. it's most of the time somebody schooling me on something new. Okay. Or hitting me to something mm-hmm. else that could help you advance in way, shape, or fashion. Okay. That's true. Uh, I would have to say my grandmother, because she's like my mother. Like, okay. my mom was young, so my grandmother's like my, the age that my mom would be. And we're very close. And um, I trust her. So I trust her in a lot of ways that, you know, she's like one of my best friends. Okay. Yeah. Wow. What about you, Charles? Uh, well, if it's business, personal, maybe all, all the time, Will. Mm-hmm. I, I think he, sometimes he used to get tired of me texting him 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> um, I answer until I wake back up anyway. Right? Like, <laughs> he must be, if I'm awake, he's awake. That's how I figure it. <laughs> you, um, you. My sister. We're all similar. It's like y'all answer when I get a chance. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We're also up like 20 hours a day. No, but yeah. your, ass, your ass answer like 20 days later, bro. <laughs> Nah, not if it's on Instagram. Oh, yeah, that's true. No, no, but even on, on the phone sometimes, like, you know, oh. when I text him one time, he texts me back two days later talking well, about, yeah, what's with, up? He sucks with text messages. He sucks. It's the same fucking device, but you still got to hit him up on Instagram. That's the only way he's Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. And then two days later, yo, what's up? Forget it now. Who, me or him? <laughs> you. you. Oh. <laughs> I was the one, I'm like, yo, you like, you're like you're talking about me. Yeah. <laughs> No, but, you know, again, it goes out with the people that you're around. So that's the best people to ask for advice. You know what I mean? It's a relationship, business, no matter what. You know? You show them, hey, what do you think about this? Like, you already know the answer, but you just want that yeah. closure yeah. of the answer. Hey, y'all got to give me this. I do fucking go back, god damn it. I go yeah. Back. No, you do. I you go do. back and look at every if, if fucking... Three days later, what back. you do? I go back and look at every fucking message, Okay. So I do genuinely go to check my messages if anyone nah, cares it's, to. It's just true. I'm not a dick like that. You know, you're an asshole. That's yeah. True. That's not your name. That's very fucking true. <laughs> it is. I normally, so I got like this, uh, this old, old group of friends from when I was back in middle school and collected between middle school and high school. So that's kind of like my little council of dudes that I go to when I have that's nice. Certain issues, yeah. You know, that, that's 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 where I go to it. I'll, I'll, it's not just like when it comes to dating and stuff like that. Um, Life. It's just yeah, in general. If I got like a question or I'm thinking about something, pondering, that's probably my go-to group of guys because they've known me for so long and they've they a lot of them have seen the transition from when I used to be a nice guy to now. So you trust them? So yeah. yeah like, you were nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was very nice until yeah. When he was in his mom's belly, no, no, no. no. I, <laughs> I was like, enough. I was a really nice kid, yeah, really whatever, until about fifth grade. Yeah, and then, then yeah. something happened in fifth grade, and I was like, "Fuck these niggas." Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's really what happened. Like, so, uh, yeah. That's something so like <laughs> you, I laugh at the idea of who I used to be before I was ten, which is you know a lot of people look back and like no, like I really laugh about it. Because then the only time that I'm ever that nice again is when I'm drunk. Mm. Right. No, you're loud, angry, weird drunk. Take no, of nah. I'm out drinking. Not Hell no. Drinking. When he's oh. drunk, a whole nother... he quiet and laughing all the time. Yeah. I seen this nigga in here one time. He was, he was oh, drinking. I, was, I wasn't drunk. Yo, you was up. Uh, you was sweating. <laughs> Well, that's hot in here, No, no, nah, it wasn't hot, nigga. You didn't sweat, nigga. No, no, you no. loud as fuck. Understand, understand. I get hot easily, and then drinking on top of that, I get even hotter. Yeah. You you, you yeah. Too. Yeah, I, I do get loud. Yeah. Uh, he he kind of loud, but he's laughing loud. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, joking yeah, around. Yeah. If I'm ever Joe drunk, Bill. if I'm drunk and mad, I am completely quiet, <laughs> and I'm waiting to hurt something. <laughs> like, that's, yeah, I'm like that cholo in the corner of a room, like, type shit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that, those, those are my those are my people. All right, now, what are your grounds for like ending a relationship? Like, and then what what are your preferred breakup methods? 
Changing the locks. No, no, yeah. What, 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 what would make you say, like, you, you know go. what? That's it. Changing the locks. No, go. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. That's right. Change those locks. And then what do you do when you want to break up? Like, that's, that's what the question is. You, you speak your fucking mind. You yeah, say tell you like, isn't working good. out. You know, you know honestly, I mean, thinking, I never broke up with nobody. So I'm probably still going out with them. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Because I never actually said we're done. His they just know. The ghost. Exactly. I love the ghost. The ghost is great. Listen, you Ooh, can, uh, you can when you just ghost people without and you ghost oh. back. Listen, if you don't know that we broke up when you get home and none of my shit is in your house. Mm, that's different. You, the last one I my broke nigga, up. My nigga did the black dad. Yeah, the last one I broke up, my <laughs> shit was in the hallway. <laughs> just gone. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. is he ever coming Papa back? Was Daddy, are you coming back home? <laughs> Daddy, when he gets home, we'll get that guy on the milk. Shit. Return, the, la- right? the last, the last, uh, I'll be back. the last one that I broke up with, I-, I threw my own self out. I took all myself and put it in the hallway. Hopefully, like, she was not going to get home soon. But the moving truck came a little late, and she seen all my stuff. She mm-hmm. said, what's going on? I said, nothing. And I just made my call. Yo, where you at? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and then she went inside. To, what, I gave making dinner. I don't know what the hell. <laughs> And then she called me. You're not in the hallway. <laughs> yeah. Like, come on. I don't tell the person we broke it because I don't want that. Oh, why? Yeah, that star. If yeah. you don't know why, yeah, you know then why. there's no need what, for us to talk what, about what, it. Was, was she Latina? Yeah. He didn't want to get stabbed. That's all. That, that, that was another reason, too. You know what I mean? The Haitian girl. <laughs> she, she, I, had she can cut you with I, t- I told you. I, I ran from her and I ran from this other girl, too. Damn. Yeah. At the same time? <laughs> Uh, no, nah, like, oh. much, no, nah, this, this is like the day before. <laughs> Her friend you. said, come uh, back. Yeah, like, I, did, I didn't think about it until I told you guys the story a while ago that I had to get rid of the bitch because she was too clingy, yeah. right? Okay, that's the history. Now, wh- now, what's too clingy? Control. Too controlling or just want to be next to you? It's be all next about control. There's, right. there's a two different things. It's like, no, I want that. that. The clinginess is about control. The one that want to be real clean. next to you? Real, real close. And that's like, control. Is that a bad you know thing? Where you at? What you doing? Who you with? Uh-huh. If it's not me, that's control. I think that. Yeah, but that's not clingy though clingy. to me. Nah, she's clinging clingy. to me is like the one that wants uh, to be next to you. Clingy. Yeah. Clingy. It's control. Uh, yeah. Huh? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's in that same that's same so subject. Like my current. To me. True. True. Right. Uh-huh. Who else is with you? <laughs> where you at? Yeah. I don't. I don't like that. Like where you at? Where you doing? That's who that? I mean, yo. Homegirl pussy <laughs> is what I'm is. Come join us. That would be validating. <laughs> you know what? That that is the best answer you can give. Like I'm fucking your shorty. Come and join us. Out. I mean, you wanna oh, you wanna, well. wanna join up? Bring a brew, bitch. And why have him like? Yeah, no problem. Oh, well. All right, let's do it. <laughs> See, that's why we got my counsel. It's one of those like, one of the guys had a girlfriend, and we all could tell something was wrong with her. She was kind of feeling one of the other guys in the group. Right? Oh, so, you know that's trouble. So he fucked her. And when he fucked her, was like, yo, I fucked your girl. And instead of the bros getting mad at each other, it was just like, no, it's her. Looking out. Yeah, like, it's that was her. it. You're looking out. Outside. That was it. She's the we outsider. still friends. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, okay, so, you know, you wanted to be a crew chick. Cool. Like, it is what it is. Right. And you're not my girl no more type of shit. Right. She was yeah, mad when they broke up. you not my girl. He was like, you fucked my friend and you have the audacity right. to be mad. You're lucky. And you're like, you're not mad at him. I'm just like, he got some pussy. So did I. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, at the end of the day, like, we win it. Weird. <laughs> it's not worth it. Not worth yeah. it. I, 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 you know, I've always been that bros before hoes thing. You know, same way I would expect chicks before dicks, right? Like, it should be that way. Like, whoever, if we're, if we're that cool, like, if we're my, you're my friend, you know, if you're the type of person I brought around the family, I've been to your crib, you've been to mine, like, fuck everybody else. Yeah. But at the end of the day... She was into you and willing to fuck you, right? The homie that I know. Yeah. It could have been somebody else with Lord knows who has what right. or who does what. Or, right. You know, we didn't get into know who the baby daddy situation. Like, fuck that shit. Like, and then fuck it. At the end of the day, if, if that's your kid, I was going to be the uncle then. Like, <laughs> like, like fuck it. Like, you the homie. Shit. We're family. We family <laughs> oh, now. Like, it is. Like, what it is, what it is. Yeah. Uh. But, yeah, it's that, that sort of thing. Um, do you think... That couples need marriage to solidify the relationship. No. <laughs> no. No, you don't. But you did it anyway. Well, I did it anyway. Because I know a lot of people that uh, were married, 
I mean, together for like so many years. Soon as they get and then they got married and then they broke up. Yep. yep. Like, you were together for, like, 15 years. You got married, and got two married years later, y'all broke up? Year, Nick. <laughs> you, know, you know what it is? It's the paper gives you a power. mental thought of yeah, power. That, yeah, And um, it messes up everything. Um, I, I, I would like to say I feel like that is heavily one-sided. And it is. It is heavily one-sided but. on that one. What? Because it's not the guy who thinks he has a new sense of power. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. Yeah. Indeed. It's the women. It's yeah. Women you, yeah. You, get, you get engaged, and... Yeah. The, the, the game change. The, the, you see, you can see a difference in how some women treat you from when you go from dating to making her your girlfriend. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Let I alone can do this. I can look through your phone. Right. I can, and like I can sleep in your house. Who the fuck told you all stuff. that? That's why I told you wrong, bitch. Right. Exactly. So like, yeah. I feel like the title thing heavily weighs more so on the female title perception than the a male. Lot of power. Yeah. I think it's just different. No, no. You know what it is? I think that a guy. This guy has all that in their head from before. Mm. So, like, he's not approaching you any different because he's expecting that from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Okay. That's, that's all it is. I'm not saying that there's different expectations. No, no, I just feel no. like that's just how no, that he comes in the first place. It makes sense. Right? Yeah. And at the same time, like, even when a guy is married, the same expectation he has for, like, the things that he can do or what he does normally is the same, except now, like, once he puts a, a ring on, it's like him saying, like, I want purely just you. Right? right? And that's him saying that to you right. so it's not like he's expecting anything different on your end mm-hmm. you know, that's more of like him coming to terms with shit with himself yeah. it's just like the uh, the hood people that when they together for so long where they be like that's my wifey right but you never really hear the wife the girl say that's my husband or husband or whatever they never really say that no, my, man, say, my, right. my man my right. man that's my boo is. until but the, not, she's married now that's my husband right but when the, you the, hear that then but you but hubby. Yeah. As don't a say man, hubby to like hubby. well a hubby a hubby is still bae. like a boo bae. like a boo bae. or something like that bae, boo but That's you're dating. unless right. they say the word clearly husband, husband. right yeah. but they would not say it until they marry but yeah. a guy yeah. would say wifey because they've been together so long yeah. and they already feel like they married of yeah, course wifey. so with you know what I'm saying? For years, right common oh it's my hubby right I had a common law wife and that's that's why. That's why it goes How like that. How long does it take? Like a year together, right? Person? Seven oh. years. Oh, good. Two, seven years? Two oh. years living in the same apartment together, seven years being together. Oh, okay. Yeah. We were together for like eight. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. You know, so once you hit that one year and ten months or eleven ago. months, you leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> you leave the house, bro. Don't stay there. Seven year itch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> does that mean you get like a, a chance to get your well, little piece? You no, know, I'm finding more and more in couples that have longevity, but maybe not necessarily age, it's just a freakier sex life. Like that's yeah. It's, it's like they they satisfy those external urges openly, and then who does the couples? Couples, so like I know, you know, if they're secure. No, but what I'm saying is I'm seeing it more in couples. Like let's say couples that are now I guess in their mid forties, right? They've been together for like ten to fifteen years, and they do a lot of like. Either swinging or, you know, like threesomes. Or not communicating. Or, yeah, or cheating. No, it's, it's less about that. It's just that, like, they openly participate in sexual acts Because you others. get bored after you've right. had sex with well, somebody for, any, like, any, five years. But, but that's Listen, anyone thing, you like, ask. It seems to help with, like, them dealing. Like, <laughs> that's my struggle. That urge of dealing with other people. Like, it, knowing that, I guess, <laughs> together or even, a, right. even apart, right, that, like, you can play with others helps as far as, like, you want to know. You want to feel. Everybody what? wants. Why to you think rope? Right. You know. You want to feel chased. You want to feel mm-hmm. wanted. After like five, ten years with the same person, you don't feel that way. Mm-hmm. Well, they and don't. They don't make it that really way. Fucks up relationships. That monotony shit. Oh, it's uh, the yeah. same, same, same regimen. Like I love the honeymoon phase of relationships. The first few months, like it's just great. Well, you got to. You got to keep that all the time. But that's why role playing, role playing that's hard becomes in life. <laughs> yeah, like you gotta know, date other motherfuckers and fuck other motherfuckers. No, no, but I mean, like it's just hard or with do life, something like, different in the bedroom. You no, no, gotta, but th- yeah, think about change, put a mask on or some shit. Well, that's why role play comes out a lot. <laughs> no, in order to get through your day, right? Eyes like, wide in shut. general, like you're just you're, just take your average week. You're in such a monotony just by yourself. Yeah, you're, you're the doing, same shit right? every day. Waking up to the same. But at the same time, like, at the same time, routine helps keep like focus. Keeps you sane. Yeah. So like. People apply that same logic to like, well, this made 
life easier if you to do like it safe. in a relationship. Right. right. And, or you like the safe and comfortable thing. Yeah, I had that once. Or you like something different, something you just don't know what you're going to get. You know what I mean? One mm-hmm. day, like, do you like that kind of, I don't know. Well, that shouldn't, that shouldn't die. Else, Right. <laughs> I don't Sometimes no you like that like life, that, boy. Nah. Versus you, being with the so same call, person, waking up. Carl, you never, you never send your your, your wife a bed, text, dude? huh? You never send your wife a text talking about, girl. When I get home, I'll hit that. I'm gonna hit. That's different. You got no, but I'm saying that's yeah, keeping yeah, it. That's yeah, keeping it. You know, keeping it different. You know, some. You gotta I be. It. I told my my girl. Oh, girl, you want to see my ex? Um. I was giving her that D. She said, what? And I sent her a picture of a letter X with the D <laughs> to make it fun. So it keeps it, you know, good. You do. And then at the same time, I'll be like, yo, where you at? Because I'm home naked. And then when she comes home, you're not even naked. I was like, I know. I just wanted you to come home fast. But it keeps the, uh, you know, make things you going. Sandwich. You have to. I'm going to make you a sandwich, bro. I'm going to make you a sandwich, girl. Let me fix you some sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. Let me fix you some sandwich. the best sandwich you ever had. Yeah, I know. But you got to make it fun like that I, you do. if you don't that's where it dies you gotta have different new things to share you know yeah, because well, if not it's gonna be like time. one two three Keep two working. minutes Love change position and you already know the position right. one two three yes. change position and that's, you that's know the position for both like people uh, it's just you know you you know you got it bad when your girl changes the position that's like damn i didn't even tell her i wanted this one uh, <laughs> so then that's when you have to change your your ways can we it's do it hard. this way this I time? Know. I know, right? Way. It's hard. Can we run? Want, can we run in the hallway? I'm saying some very. I, I want to just if it were if it were me, I would just live in one big like farmhouse with everybody I just fucked, you know, and we would all live in that house. Damn. Even the exes or just just the no, ones? No, they you wouldn't would? be exes. They would be like people. I oh, just the one. Want, yeah. Oh, okay. Want to fuck or yeah. have you, an intimate relationship you, with? Mm. That that sounds great. You know, people who I could live that, with. That's a yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. that's a yeah. that's a farm yeah. life I would live in. Fucking somebody else, okay, yeah. whatever. That that would be great. That would be a good farm life. But we live together, <laughs> and sometimes I think about you, and I don't want to fuck you, like, <laughs> and I want to have life with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, in a perfect world. Oh. Uh, <laughs> on that note, God damn. Oh. <laughs> this has been another episode of X Five One Hundred and One, and we will catch you guys next time. Oh. <laughs>